Hello, in this session we will see about tunnel ventilation. Under tunnel ventilation we will see a subtopic types and objectives. Okay. So, under types we have temporary and permanent. Okay. So, first we will see about temporary ventilation. So, we know about uh, what is in a ventilation, right? So, it is just to remove any foul air by replacing it with fresh air, right? So, here temporary vent under temporary ventilation especially we are talking about the tunnel okay so here if this is done during the time of construction work so during the time of construction work workers safety is more important right so for that criteria what we do is we keep some kind of a temporary ventilation so for what so we need to remove eliminate the fumes smoke dust particles and all these things we are supposed to eliminate it okay and uh, whichever whichever is caused uh, during the uh, tunnel operations right yeah so that we should bring everything under the permissible safe limit so that we can ensure that our workers are having a safe job right so also the accumulation of dangerous fumes should be prevented at any point okay so and also along the length of the tunnel okay so we'll discuss about the length of the tunnel later on so uh, we'll move on to the permanent one so next we are having the permanent ventilation and under permanent ventilation what exactly is that it is done after the construction work yeah that is permanently done okay not uh, during the uh, progress of construction work this one is for the usage purpose okay so because uh, definitely traffic fumes pollutions temperature differences right so all these things will come inside the tunnel okay so it's a natural cause right so it is important to eliminate all these things so now here we need to use this kind of an, a permanent ventilation another main reason is that the vehicle traffic uses you know gas pollutions you know or else the diesel petrol whatever the co2 right so and also co carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide so whatever so here uh, if you take about co then the carbon monoxide should be less than 0 0.02 percentage so human beings are not affected and also if it is equal to that of 0 0.04 percent human beings feel some uneasiness if same is inhaled for more than 1.5 hours okay and human also uh, develop some kind of a headache and all other things okay so and also if inhaled more than two hours so can also lead to unconsciousness okay then also if co percentage is greater than that of 0 0.06 percentage and it is inhaled for about 2.5 hours then this could be a fatal one right so under this circumference so we have to provide artificial fresh air right or else you can say it as you know permanent ventilation so we know about artificial uh, ventilation process and all okay so you can see about our bathroom yeah we are having a ventil uh, a, a exhaust fan right so that kind of a ventilation we are having and also in kitchen also we are having that kind of a ventilation okay so likewise we are also need to provide some kind of an artificial ventilation package so as a permanent one so when the tunnel is greater than 750 meter it is highly recommended one okay so usually the tunnel permanent ventilation for a longer tunnel are mostly used by you know blower fans like you know or uh, that could be either one or more than that right and also central uh, shaft is also used so all these things we'll see under the permanent ventilation method okay so here we need to know about that uh, that we are going to use it some kind of an artificial uh, elements in order to eliminate the foul orders and also the dust particles caused 
by the vehicles okay not uh, by the uh, you know uh, not by the construction work okay this one is a permanent one which is after the construction done after the construction okay so now if we see about the objectives of uh, tunnel ventilation so you know the tunnel ventilation for a fresh air so not only this kind of uh, I mean uh, only for the tunnel ventilation so in general for getting a fresh air right so here we have the fresh air to the working crew and to remove injurious and harmful fumes gases of uh, explosions and then to remove safely the dust caused by drilling blasting and uh, muking yeah this this drilling blasting this comes under temporary right and also yeah for any kind of a maintenance if we do something then also whatever right okay and also to reduce the temperature in tunnel situated at the greatest depth yeah so because the humidity would be very high right uh, as it goes uh, the as, as the length goes longer definitely the humidity rises right and under natural ventilation so this another one we are having uh, about the temporary and the permanent uh, also it can be classified as a natural ventilation and uh, artificial uh, ventilation right so or else mechanical ventilation you can call it as okay so let's see about the natural ventilation so for natural ventilation this is especially achieved due to the difference in temperature inside and outside the tunnel okay and uh, so i'm just coming to the point so here the natural ventilation is done especially where the alignment of the tunnel is very curved in nature or the gradients or grades whatever you call it as okay and uh, which are charging the quality of natural air is expected to provide natural ventilation is uh, considerably reduced and that time alone we use this uh, mechanical one that is you know artificial ventilators that is like what I said the fans exhaust fans and all other things right provided along with the shaft and all other things we use it okay so and actually this is uh, especially done for the ventilation naturally during the enlarging operations particularly when the tunnel is short one and of a larger diameter so if it is a shorter one and having a larger diameter what happens is that the flow of air is very free right flow of air is very free so this uh, natural ventilation could also be done uh, during the construction and also during the permanent one okay so you can see so wherever the shorter span is there uh, length of the tunnel so there definitely we keep this uh, natural ventilations right so easy going of air is there okay and wind direction that should be also the orientation should be along the wind direction right okay so apart from this as i said earlier so depends upon the tunnel alignment and uh, the curves any curvature or grades which are changing uh, the um, quantity of natural air so definitely when we are having that kind of in a small uh, i mean the curves and all, all other things definitely uh, amount of natural air is highly reduced right so under such kind of a thing we implement this kind of a mechanical ventilation and not only for that it also depends upon the flow of traffic okay so uh, again the flow of traffic uh, that could be either in one direction or also both direction that doesn't matter but uh, according to the uh, traffic flow uh, if and also uh, related with that of the tunnel length so we decide whether to have a mechanical ventilation okay and in generally if we have to say that it may be mentioned that for straight reaches with a uniform grade and the tunnels up to about 100 meter 
okay so 100 meter length would not require any mechanical ventilation and if it goes beyond that then definitely we need to provide a mechanical ventilation so without that you can't ha uh, have a safer handling process on the next lecture, we will see about the various types of mechanical ventilation or also an artificial ventilation. Okay, So, we will uh, we'll cover all these things blowing, exhausting and combination of blowing and exhausting process. You know, all these things we will cover in detail. Okay, So, before that I need you to take some photos and videos of uh, uh, temporary and permanent ventilation which is available in the internet. Okay, So, you can take some photos and videos in that and you can have a brief study on it okay so we'll see you in the next lecture